this thing about the Prince of Pies and the powers in a it's just it's it's such like the missing block. Mm -hmm. And it's not that I feel like I have the market cornered on it, but it's just in the church and this in the church, no one talks about it in the, mm -hmm. in, in its context that I, you know, I'm trying to ex, ex, not exploit, expose. Are you talking about like the physicality of it? No, it's not just a, the general worldview, right? Just the concept. Right? Yeah. And, and, and just just this concept of the principality is the inner, the power. The, the principality is the outer, the, the power is the inner. And mm -hmm. they both, they, it's both. Because that's mm -hmm. that, it's, it's the world path. It's, it's this concept of the world path, but even taking it a step further in the regards of like, it, not just in regards of yourself, but even understanding and how to discern what's happening right now in the world. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Royal Path. I'm back. Sorry to everyone who, uh, you know, benefited from getting a different perspective. You know, I know, like, sorry to everyone who benefited maybe from not talking about comic books for the first half hour of the show. <laughs> but, you know, whatever, I'm back. So I'm here to ask Cyprian and Father, what is something charming or endearing about your wife? Because I got one. Do you, you, do you want? Do you want? Who off. should start? Who should? Oh, I've got it. Go I've ahead, Cyprian. Go ahead. There, there are so there are so many things about my wife that are charming and endearing. But I would say one of the one of the most charming things is, uh, she she loves to dance. But like when if she's about to like start dancing, it's it's super. She goes super cartoonish, super early with like a gigantic smile on her face. So it's very, very cartoony to start out and everybody smiles and laughs. It's so disarming. So people who wouldn't even normally dance, I think it's how she gets people to dance with her because she loves to just throw on music and then everybody will start dancing. And I think that's why it's super charming. She's just like super goofy and cartoony with the gigantic smile on her face and everybody comes in. It, it disarms everybody and they just come and dance with her. I love it. I love it. Fantastic. What about you, father? My wife has this like uh, my one of my nicknames for her is Sharky. She has this like shark eye hmm. that she does where it's, she has this kind of like I don't know. It's like uh, one of her superpowers would be laser beam eyes, just like <sighs> like she has this very bright. Um, she has very bright eyes, you know, not just in the light of the color, but um, when she gives you this kind of pow, it's, it's incredible. It's incredible. Um, by the way, I should probably say everyone is fine. Baby is fine. Um, before I, you know, before I start talking about it, but um, yeah, actually it was pretty, pretty fantastic. Um, they were talking about with the baby being born is what I'm talking about. Um, they were talking about having to keep her over the weekend. She ended up going home the same time as my wife, the same day on Friday. Uh, she had a lip mass, which was what we were kind of worried about. Um, and God is good. And they took, they took her away for surgery and brought her back a half hour, 45 minutes later, it was gone. And she, they, she blew the IV out of her. Like my, uh, the IV went bad which was how she's getting her nutrients. So all the nurses started panicking, but I had this like, I was like, no, it's time for her to feed. Like it's time for her to start breastfeeding. And she did right away latched like within five seconds just started going and she hasn't pretty much left the boob since then. She's just been going, 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 and going, and going. Um, then they brought her home and she's so far so good sleeping well. Um, yeah. Uh, she's, she's feeds at night, but you know, that just means she just gets on mom and, 
then they go back to sleep and that was pretty much that so um uh but something and well mine's a little bit more silly my wife loves she orders hamburgers with pickles on them every time but she takes the pickles off because she likes the flavor of the pickles having been on the sandwich but she does not like the pickles themselves so she oh, likes like the leftover pickle <laughs> juices um and she is the most expressive person with her eyebrows so i had two weeks off of work and uh i don't i'm not a huge tv watcher um but my wife got me on the show dairy girls and it's 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 uh oh actually really quick you two it's about uh ireland in the mid 90s and guess which band plays within the first two minutes of the show the cranberries yeah you got it <laughs> like right away the, yeah. yeah of course it had to be but um uh it's 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 all about the like irish civil war and it's mm. these four girls who are just completely oblivious to it they're all teenagers so they're like talking about boys and stuff while walking past like armed like troops and stuff like that That's but awesome. it has given me a lot of insight into irish people and my wife is incredibly irish and i feel like i have this whole new respect for her but she has the most expressive eyebrows like her eyebrows like could tell a whole story with just like this part of her head She's just like all over the place with it. Um, but there's this scene where this lady's like really sure that she's left something at the house mm. and they're all Catholic and she's freaking out because she left it at the house and she's like yelling at the husband because it's money. She's afraid she left the money at the house and they're going like on a trip and she starts screaming at the husband. She's like, we're going to starve to death. Oh my gosh, like all these horrible things are happening. And then she says a prayer to St. Anthony. She's like repeating oh, a prayer great. to St. Anthony to help her find the money. And then she sits there and she's like, oh, wait, I think it's in the trunk. And I had to like pause the show because that hit me because that is an interaction I have with my wife like all the time because she just <laughs> flipping out. She starts going, her mind immediately starts going to all these like really like Irish places of like all these bad things that are going to happen. <laughs> and then she calms down. She's like, oh, sorry. And then she just like touches my arm. And like, that's just normal behavior for Irish people. They just oh. yell at each other. <laughs> all the time that's how they communicate and it's just like i love my irish angry little wife like i truly do she forces me to be a lot less passive aggressive mm. she's like no 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 i see what you're doing here no 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 no. what's wrong talk to me and i'm like i don't want to talk about it she's like no talk to me right now come on let's go let's go and then she'll drag it out of me it's like there don't we feel better isn't that better mm -hmm. i'm like okay cool cool everything's then, out in the open yeah and then just so we know my son is not asleep so if there's a point i have to run upstairs i'm gonna do that just to make sure that everything's okay so just for you guys and viewer beware so but back to the topic at hand we were talking a little bit before the show and one of the things that i think is important uh that father thought was important and i agree that we talk about is um I guess what's the way I want to approach this? There's no doubt that there's something oppressive out there, like in the world. The problem is, is that I think a lot of times people are very quick to assign that to physical, physical things. Mm -hmm. Like it's an institution, it's a way of life, it could be a religion. And then there are other people, you, you kind of see what I'm getting at, like, it's like it, or there's like this other side of like, you know, there is not really oppression. It's more of like an internal oppression. And if we could just break free of these chains that we've had for the past 10,000 or 100,000 or a million years or whatever. But I think the appropriate way, the orthodox perspective is to talk about the oppressiveness of like the principalities and powers of this world, the demonic influence that has made its gigantic, you know, undebatably like gigantic mark on history on like, I mean, I tell people, one of the things I counsel with people when they're struggling, whether or not the existence of God and the devil and stuff like that, like you go Google pictures of World War One, and tell me that like demonic influence is not out there. That's literally hell being brought to earth. Like people say war is hell. It's literally like war being brought to earth and like, tell me that that's all just mankind. Cause it's not, it can't be. So I thought one of the 
father kind of suggested and i kind of thought it was a good idea for us to talk about like how this kind of works how this kind of plays out in like the oppressive nature of well yes 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 but can i hold on before can i can i set the stage for this absolutely i I was gonna i was gonna put the ball there too because okay yeah okay yeah 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 yeah. something first off i think and i've and i've said this before father this was how we began our relationship was with this was with this concept and i and for me this was one of the big things that made that orthodoxy rang true to me and it's one of the reasons why we started this project you know one of the big reasons was the idea of not falling to the left not falling to the right we saw people falling to the left what's going to happen falling to the right and trying to to communicate the royal path so because this is something that we were worried about so yesterday a thing happened uh, so with the, the, that raid, the FBI raid on Trump's house, the reaction was actually kind of incredible. And it was like ubiquitous among the mainstream right. So I'm talking about like mainstream Republicans talking about basically like burn it down, burn it down sort of, sort of talk. And there was a, in particular... I shared this with you guys. I want to set the stage on this because clearly this is a powers and principalities thing. Mm -hmm. So it was a tweet from Jesse Kelly, right? Who's a, who's a syndicated, like nationally syndicated radio host, right? Like 555, half a million followers, establishment, right, Republican, this as mainstream as you're going to get in terms of mainstream and, and, talking about the FBI and, and what they did. And he, his tweet said, you have no idea the kind of authoritarian I'd support if it means stopping the communists. This is not an insult. I want a monster now. Mm-hmm. I want a monster. And first off, when Do I shared this- where monster comes from? Go ahead. I'll put money down. Go ahead. From Peterson. Yes. Why do you say that? I'll put money down on it. Because Peterson. Peterson was the one who started saying, you have to be a monster, but you have to be a monster who's, what do you say? Under control or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like you have to be able to be a monster. You're right, father. It's a total son to Peterson thing. Yeah, I'll put money down. Can I ask one more question? What does he mean by this is not an insult? I think he's, it's referring to. He's not being glib. He's like, I'm not being. No. Yeah, like in terms of, I think he's pre- prefacing like that. Monster yeah. is monster is not an insult, right? When he says I want a monster, I think what he's trying to say is that monster in this case is not an insult because it starts. So he's responding to this where this person says this is a frightening endorsement of authoritarianism because first he said um, warrants should warrants should be being issued as we speak to have Democrat homes raided in districts with red judges and red sheriffs. Communists are religious zealots. All religious zealots understand is fear and pain. This will not stop until they're afraid. Imagine this is a mainstream republic. And so let me just pause you right there. That, when we we begin to understand, this is a snapshot of low-level interface of principal Mm -hmm. power. That's what this is. That's what this is right here. That's not, that statement isn't Jesse Kelly. No, it's not. It doesn't even sound like a human. Yeah, that statement's not Jesse Kelly. And you understand the mechanism, right? Isn't just Twitter. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Jesse Kelly's part of the mechanism. Okay, let's let's, let's tear that apart. Let's tear the mechanism apart. The mechanism, the, the mechanism is the the plastic and the wires of the computer the the digital signal how it travels through the air and the wi-fi mm. and the cellulite and the bone and the flesh mm. of mr kelly right he ha- he has relic this is he has relegated himself to this to this power and so understanding this is this is what we mean because if you if you don't understand this first and foremost for yourself, then you're easily jacked in 
and used as you become a means by which something begins to like travel. Mm. And so there's a, <laughs> so this is, this is where we, this is where we get into it because um, like Andrew was saying, but I want to just give a, even a little bit of a correction. I'm um, cool with that. Not, not a correction. It's not a correction. It, it's, I was explaining, this is what I was saying earlier today um, on, 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 which, on Buck Show, is that this is tough because the nuance that, I'm, that we're about to get into is part of the problem. And what I mean by that is, typically speaking, the left use sophisticated language and nuance to obfuscate something. You see it all the time with academics, right? If you've ever seen what is a woman, there's that sociology professor. He's a, he is that snapshot of what I'm talking about. The use of obfuscation through language, um, zoological kind of constructs and all this and that, it's all sleight of hand to, to hide what's, what's really, what you, what, what you need to get to. That being said, we have to get into some nuance in order to really understand what we're, what I'm, well, not just what I'm trying to talk about, but what we need to see, okay? Because the side that I, we, we are really gonna need to start drilling down on, not just tonight, but maybe even for a while, because it's here now, it's gonna start coming more and more. Um, I need, we need to watch, I need to watch as a priest, the people who might even keep coming in and be like, yeah, something's wrong, something's wrong, there's a critical mass, and all these people are demons. They're all demons. And we need to, you know, and it's like, um, you don't, you, the caricature of the demon of the, uh, you know, leathered winged creature flying behind someone whispering in their ear. Although there's, there's like truth to that, right? But like, now's the time to start drilling down with a, a, with a, a more accurate understanding of what it is because if if we're stuck just in that very um, uh, almost primitive image of this, then you're not going to be able to discern the temptation on the right in particular. So what's coming is a true like what's going to be able to be seen a lot easier is the, is the fact that the powers are what's moving inwardly and the, the principalities are the external, but it, it's this perfect alignment because it's, it's, it isn't just, it isn't necessarily like the one animating the other separately. It's like, it's this, it's both. If you don't have both, you, 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 you're missing it. Okay. So so you're saying, Father, that if you're looking at things from a simplistic point of view of like the red winged demon, you know, like that, mm -hmm. you're, you're going to miss the thing that's coming up behind you, which maybe seems a little bit nicer. Like if you're looking at the left and it's so obviously gross, it's so obviously mm -hmm. like base, blah, blah, blah. And I mean, not in the TikTok way, but in like bases and like primitive and gross and like nasty that you're going to miss the, the, the guy in the white suit behind you whispering with the dead eyes who's saying like, yeah, this is gross. That is demonic. But meanwhile, you're listening to a demon as well. Right. Okay. And, and what happens is, is that if. What are we supposed to do? I think this is, I think this is, this is going to be an interesting episode because there's, this is almost going to be like real time watching something being worked out. And I know that might sound kind of crazy um, because what needs to, like what needs, what needs to happen, that's, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking to understand, right? Because um, I'll just, I'll give her, man, I don't even know if I should say this. Cause, okay, Let, let's, let's give a hypothetical example, okay? 
let's just say hypothetically, there's a um, let's just say hypothetically there's a there's a a black metal band coming from Eastern Europe to the states, and they are overtly blasphemous. Let's just say hypothetically, right? And let's say this hypothetical band is overtly blasphemous, right? It's like this is a real time example. Let's say, okay. Um, the first step is the awareness of this presence coming. Is it just a band? Is it just a couple guys doing something sticky, right? Even though they deface icons and you know, I mean, directly blasphemous stuff, right? Is this just is this sticky? Okay, that's the first thing. So, if we're gonna do like our choose your own adventure thing right now, right? So. Lots of people would go like, yeah, it's just sticky. Okay, boom. Like they, 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 they are um, disqualified, right? Their, their adventure, they turn the page, their adventure's done. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. Because they, they're materialists, essentially. I don't care if they're, I don't care if they're wearing a cassock. If they think it's just sticky, you're a materialist, you don't get it, boom, you're done. They you stepped off the like battlefield. They've stepped off the battlefield. They're, they they're the battlefield disengaged. Right there. They're disengaged. This, this is how we're gonna play this game tonight. Okay. At least at yeah, this yeah. point right yeah. now. Are you yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah. Are you talking about that one? Okay. Huh? Are you talking about okay. that one? Game? Okay. <laughs> okay. So that person, you know, I, I don't care. I don't care what your rank is. What you do? You think that's? If you think that's just sticky, you're disqualified. Boom. Okay. So let's so let's move on. So now someone's like, okay, I know this isn't sticky. Yes, it's sticky, but it's not sticky, right? It's both and, it's both and, right? And even getting to the point where the guys in the band may think it's sticky, doesn't, that doesn't matter, right? Because the level of messaging, the level of blasphemy that's happening, that, that's, that's beyond like pale, you see what I'm saying? Okay, it's too, it's too particular. And you can know this because Certain things are too particular, right? Too particular. So it's not sticky, okay? Well, then well, what do you do? So the question becomes, if you know that it's not sticky, do you say, well, let's just pray. Okay. Okay, great. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Does that mean that you simply, you know, go to your prayer corner, um, you know, do the thing, right? Like, I hate to say it this way, but go through the motions of, of engaging in prayer, let's say, right? And this, and this understanding, which is really a form of prayer, not the totality of prayer. Is it, are you guys following me right now? Okay. Yeah, so yeah. you're saying the, the form. The so form you go in, you do the form. Right. And As so you're supposed to do the form. Right. Yeah. And so the person now could be tempted to think that I would like this is prayer, but they they may not go past the fact that they're just in the form of prayer. Not that the form is bad, right? But the form is the beginning. Is this person praying about the band to ask for like discernment about the band? We can even go into that realm because this is but all I common. think that's the next step, Father, right? That because what I'm step. what I'm thinking is like. So, so at this point, what we're going is like, where does somebody leave the battlefield? This is sort of how I'm understanding. This is how, this how it's happening, right? This right? is an important exercise, right? Important like, where exercise. does somebody leave the battlefield? And there's definitely some subset of people who are like, we need to pray. Okay, so now everybody that's on the oh, no, battlefield no, no, no. is like, everyone needs to pray. Every, no, that's what I'm saying. Everybody right. that's everybody gotcha. that's on the battlefield says, okay, the next step pray. is prayer. Right. Prayer. Okay. So, but some set of those people pray and they're like okay we're done and they leave the battlefield right after and doing so, the form right and so they so now they have uh what the word what was the word i used um uh you, you said uh, disqualified they're disqualified now they're disqualified yeah and, and i'll tell you why they're disqualified and this is this is where we're starting to get into where like i really feel like i've been trying to but i've been doing a really bad job and who am i i'm, I'm nothing right but trying to ring this bell, like on the wall, like, because 90, it feels like 99% of the people are getting disqualified right here. This is why I think we're really like, In like stage two. 
Yes. Or getting they go, past oh, it. Okay. They may be like, yeah, that's not sticky. There's something there. And they, they go, let's pray, which is right. They go to the form and they go like, okay, good. Boom. But, but they're disqualified. Right. That's where most people like the vast majority of the armies falls off the hill here. Let me, let me give you a word uh, in this context to kind of back up what I'm saying. St. Moses, the, the strong, the, the black, he says, if a man's prayer is not in harmony with his actions, his labor is in vain. And we can find multiple other sayings from the Desert Fathers and Elders that just basically back that up. You know what I'm saying? St. Thibodeau includes, if you don't have love, do the works of love. Like, like, it isn't just like hopes and like thoughts and hopes or like, what's the term people use? Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. Yeah. It's not thoughts yeah. and prayers, right? So this is where everyone gets really taken off the battlefield, right? Um, so moving on, right? So someone goes, okay, got to pray, form a prayer, right? personal prayer, whatever, but even like talking to your priest, be like, hey, Father, blah, 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 talking to other people, hey, blah, blah, blah. And then let's say you take it to that next step of like, okay, like, boom, let's, you know, let's have a liturgy. Let's just say, right? Let's, let's just say like, that's our atom bomb, boom, okay, you know? But I mean, this is where I'm getting like, okay, gotta be real careful here, because I'm not saying yes. And this is again to just discern what's happening with this band. I, am I not? Am I lost here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, no, you're it, you're you're there, but he hasn't gotten there. I don't think the father's sure, gotten there. Sure. Yeah. But, okay. yeah, but because it's but, not yeah. the it's not the band, right? Like, like the the band is the harbinger. <laughs> okay. The band is the herald. The band is the uh, the emissary. It's like at the, the beginning emissary. of 300 where the guy yeah. comes and goes yeah. like Xerxes is coming and he kicks yeah. it. This is Sparta and kicks that guy yeah. into the well. He didn't kick Xerxes into the well. Right. Right. But he did. Right. But he did. And this spiritually, is what, spiritually. Yes. yes, this yes, is what yes, he did. yes. Okay. This, good, good, this good, is good, my good, point. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is exactly my point. And this is what people are missing. Right. The emissary comes and it's like, you don't know who you're dealing with. Literally, right? Because, yeah, Xerxes kissed, kicked the emissary, and it wasn't Xerxes, but it was. And that's what everyone doesn't know or believe. They don't understand this, and that's why. That's why. I mean, I'm almost. I guess. But, we, but Leonidas understood that when he yes, made that kick, because yes. th to their worldview, that was the same as kicking Xerxes. Yes. Kicking because even the emissary says he says, You dare, you yes. dare speak yes. to an emissary of, yes. the, of, the, of the great king like this? You dare? He was like, How dare you? You know, this and then he goes, exactly. Bam, kicks him in. You know, this is exactly madness. That's what he says. It's madness. And That's he says, right. Madness. This is yes. Sparta. Oh Boom. Okay. <laughs> right. This is exact. This is this is bullseye exactly what I'm trying to talk about. Because I talked about this earlier with Buck. Why is it? that in the communist states, you had the criminals who were, who were made trustees in the prisons and then the law-abiding people who like didn't break the law, who were innocent, they became the enemies of the states, were, were tortured and martyred. Why is that? Well, here's why. Because the criminals, although they're lawless and they don't obey any of the rules anyway, they acquiesce to the spirit of that principality, do you, do you see what I'm saying? So therefore, they're, they're able to, it doesn't matter that they're obeying the law, right? And the ones who are law abiding, quote unquote, but who will not acquiesce to the spirit, right? To that, to that power, right? To the principality, they're, they're tortured and executed. Remember that Jesus, you can't find a reason for them to execute Jesus legally. There was no reason for them to execute Jesus. What, like, why? Like, what was it that made them want to kill Jesus? Jesus, who's God, of course, but refused to acquiesce to the system. And when I say system, you have to get out of, and this is the, this is the strategy. 
this is the counter movement of the chess of the evil one because so many of us now we get we get disqualified because as soon as i say system you start thinking oh you sound like um a radical a lefty a communist whatever it's like so much of this language right which falls into this kind of political realm you have to use it because what we're dealing with is it's a system but you don't understand what a system is it isn't just it's a spiritual the, system it's both we have to like it's both it's both it's both right everyone is on this thing where it's like yeah it's spiritual it's and and the thing we are the only ones who can do this like this is my clarion call we are the only ones who can do it we're the only ones who it is in our dna to maintain this balance because the evangelicals, although they have morals that may align, they're the ones who are fueling the fodder. They're the ones who are the fodder who are fueling the fire for the for the the correction, the overcorrection of the right. They're the ones that Clearly. are. They're the ones Clearly. fueling the manifestation of this other aspect, right? And that includes the the the, the Catholics, right? Because their their paradigm is just is all but materialist, really, or they fall they fall into this exclusively just kind of like everything spooky, right? But we can, what well, we are in that camp too. And that's why I worry. Because so many Orthodox are just like, oh, it doesn't matter. It, it, was it last week when we were talking, Cyprian, I was like, yeah, like if you're doing something like political, like it doesn't matter. Remember I said that? I think I said that last week. I was like, yeah, like uh, if you think that you doing something politically is going to matter. It doesn't. It, I stand by that. It doesn't in the sense of how people are seeing it. You're not going to change anything by joining the system. Right? Yeah, it was last week. It was because then I remember someone commented. Yes, it was. Yeah, yes, and it you, was. you have a comment about, the, about your friend who was like, yeah, mm -hmm. as soon as you yep. get into the Congress, like they pay you off, whatever. That's you know it. What I mean? Yep. Like it's both. It's both. And so we're getting disqualified. We don't even, we don't even get on the battlefield, really. Yeah. The second we get on the battlefield, we just kind of fall off on the other end because we think that we've entered into form, into the form, but yes. the other portions are missing, right? And so, and so I'm not, <laughs> we're not done, right? Because from there, right, we're using this band as the example. It scales up and scales down, right? It'll it can scale up to dealing with a law, with a federal law, or a or a um, um, statewide law. It can scale down to interpersonal problems with your cousin, right? Are you are you guys following me at all? Okay. So, let's say we go like, okay. You know, we're we've 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 tackled like the form prayer, entering the prayer. And we're really keeping this, um, and this is this is almost like where you, where you stop, but it's understanding where this takes you next. You hey, keep this. Can you put a pin in that for one second? Because I I just want to make sure I understand before we continue. Can I just say something really quick? Is that okay? Are you frozen? No, go ahead. Oh, okay, I you genuinely <laughs> genuinely looked frozen, and I was like, okay, sorry. So just please keep a pin in that because you're on a roll. And I don't want to stop that, but I do have to say there was three dang things I was supposed to say at the beginning of this podcast, and I forgot all three of them. This is the third one. Esther did a fantastic job. I just want to say I just got through that episode and I, I, I felt remiss until I mentioned it because it was something that she said that's going to make me say what I'm going to say next. Um, OK, Esther did a fantastic job. It's good to know that if I need to ever go off again for some reason, we have a really good host to come on. And definitely bring a different perspective, a much needed perspective. Mm -hmm. Esther, you are fantastic. Um, so this is one of the things I, if I want to understand you, it's almost like a roller coaster ride. So like the minute you hop in the car, it, like a camp car, whatever, like it zooms you down and you're suddenly caught up in all this other. So you're suddenly caught up in all these other beliefs. So I remember in like the height of 2020 dumb. What's his name? I can never remember his name. Justin Trudeau. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Canadian he, prime minister. Yeah. He was talking about people who are anti-jab and he remember him throwing in this thing a bit like who are also generally misogynistic and racist yep. and homophobic. Yep. yep. Like he threw those three things in there like right away. So it's like the system is working because if I believe one thing, if I tell the average person and I've had this happen, Mm. I'm just not sure it's that big of a deal, you know, this type of thing. You know, I'm just kind of trying to take a secular approach to this whole like COVID v non COVID, whatever. Then they'll be like, oh, so you don't believe we landed on the moon. Right. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's that's not what I'm saying. Like, I don't know about the moon. I have no idea. I'm just talking about this. So you're talking about, Father, that like the system works because it's almost like when you're dropped in, it's like a logistics center. Once you're dropped into this, like you've made a decision, if you're like an NPC, you're like dropped into route two, which is like, I'm an angry conservative. It's going to take you places that maybe you don't necessarily wouldn't have arrived if you were in control of like your faculties. You see what I'm saying? So you like drop on, you're like on a conveyor belt. So before you know it, you are enraged, even though you might've just started as a Trump supporter because you generally are just a conservative you know 2016 by 2020 you're full out QAnon. but you who's know behind I'm... the controls i think is the yeah, key like that's... everybody recognizes the roller coaster everybody's recognizing the roller coaster all the materialists are recognizing the roller coaster who's I'm... behind the controls is the i think that's the next part of what father is yeah. getting ready to... and so i think i just wanted to make sure i'm with you guys so far that there is this mm-hmm. system that seems to be placing people in certain spots and once you're on Mm-hmm. You know, like the 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 um, I just the, the assembly coaster. line, whatever the roller coaster, yeah. the assembly line, whatever. You're like it's kind of like you're driven to a spot that maybe you wouldn't have ended up. Yes, but what we're that's talking the principality, about, right? Though that's yeah, the that's material manifestation well, but, of the but, principality. But what you're talking about though is good in the medicines of this is the problem that what that is is a tactic. It's a tactic that's used to grind people down. It's a coercion Mm -hmm. that's used to grind people down, right? Sure. Let me let me make it on a on a on an individual micro level. Your passions will like if you deal with the passion. Okay, passion. Why is it passion? Well, because you become passive to that thing. Andrew struggles with anger. The, mm-hmm. whatever yeah you you're you're ground down all day and then eventually you're ground down to the point where you're like ah you, you just snap and then it's it's not even the thing it's just someone's like hey man can you not squeeze the mustard right now because i'm i'm allergic to mustard and it's going to make me sick whatever and then you just lose it right but you've been ground down all day like the movie falling down whatever right sure, I mean? sure. prime example that's a good, such a such a great example. But it's just the tactic. It's not the thing, right? Because because here's what happens. You now are like Andrew steps back, and now anger takes takes the front seat, right? This is what the class talk about. You become animalistic. Like you don't even have the means of logic anymore. And we anyone who's seen it, anyone enraged, you know that's true, mm. right? It's it's a snapshot of what the passion of why it's a passion it makes you passive lust, anything, it, you, you see what it does. But see, the tactic, though, was the coercion, the grinding down, the like, oh, if you get the pokey poke, then you're also a white supremacist, even if you're from, you know, the Congo and, you know, uh, you're this, you're this, you're that, right? Yes. These, are all, these are all tactics. They're not the thing, though. Because those tactics, it's a mode of transportation, correct? Yeah, those tactics go both ways, right? It, it, it goes both ways, right? It's still not the thing. Because, okay. Well, well probably- Father, Father, it's like this Jesse Kelly thing that it's like, we could say like that, that, that car is maybe like communism, right? Mm-hmm. And so it's like the people on the car of communism, like it's grinding them down. Right. Mm-hmm. It's got its whole series of things and it wants to grind them down, the people on the car. But it has also ground Jesse Kelly down mm-hmm. to the point where now he wants is explicitly saying, I want to manifest the demonic. 
I want to manifest the demonic. I want to yes. manifest the demonic to yes. fight the communists. Yes. So, so both yes. outside of the car and inside yes. of the car, they got you coming the in. Demon won. Yes. The demon won. The demon yes. got everybody. Yes, oh. yes, well, yes, yes. I get yes. to say one of my favorite things right now. They got you coming and going. That's they got like you coming and going. Coming phrases. and going. That's but, it. But but here's the thing. It's manifesting something bigger. Because there's something that's trying to come in. And it's looking for a critical mass before it can come in. You guys don't, you don't understand what I'm saying. The first three letters lose the B. Yeah. First three letters lose the B. Um, I'm going to use a couple different terms. I'm going to go like in and out. And I'm just trying to hoping to catch something like Hegelian dialectic is opposing sides to bring together a synthesis. Guess what? That wasn't Hegel. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? That wasn't Hegel. Like he may be the he may be the flesh bag, let's say, that like gets the credit to coining it, but it's it's not that that's a spiritual principle. That's a fallen principle. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's Adrian Veidt, right? It's Adrian Veidt. Yeah. This, this, so here's the thing. I, I, I fear that so many are about to start feeding the machine. Like, to, like they're about to start feeding the process. Let me, X name when I said machine, they're about to feed. Oh, the, I'm getting, uh, okay, they're about I'm to get, feed I'm the getting beast. where you're going. I'm they're getting where you're beast. going. And they're about to like speed up the critical mass so that this thing can come. So that this thing can really begin so that the system, the, the, the beast can really take on the, the, this next aspect of like manifestation that needs. So the next aspect of manifestation is the synthesis. Like people are it's, focused yes. at these extremes, yes. right? Yes. And they're going, they're, they're having this, interplay i'm so for this so it's polarizing people yes. like this and then both of these things are swinging out like this they're yeah. allowing it to swing out and then they're going to come back in and boom and boom. that's the thing and the synthesis is presented and the synthesis and it solves everything and it yes. solves everything. and the synthesis is presented in such a way so that free will is it, so that people will acquiesce to it because that's always the thing willingly they're always, they need rights. They need rights. And so they, they, get, they get rights. They get rights on a micro level. And too many of us, and when I mean too many of us in the church, right, are, are, are still materialist and individualistic. It isn't just you, Jack, right? But they get rights. And then, and then as more and more people acquiesce and give these rights, this, this, it grows, right? Uh, let me give another example. Uh, if you've never been in one, I don't know how to explain it to you. But if you've been in one, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. If you've ever been in a riot, and, and what I mean by being in a riot, I mean like you were there before it started and in it, and obviously, if you can hear me, you got out of it. But that riot starts off with a certain event, right? But that event is, is happening simultaneously with a certain amount of individuals, persons. Those individuals, depending on like the whatever broader context, they begin to quote unquote coalesce. And then there's this critical mass boom you feel it in the air you can feel it oh that's what i was about to say father it's actually before before it happens a few minutes it. before it happens it's like it's like the gas fumes yeah it's everybody's the, the, looking around and yeah. they're like something's about to happen everybody's looking at each other like it's happened to me twice and it's been at like large large scale events yeah and it's outside when like events have have sold out and stuff and there's been crazy people outside people high and drunk and all that stuff a few minutes before it's happened twice in both occasions like everybody's looking around and being like should we go should we go right now like 
this is getting this is getting bad. Like we should go right now. And you'll see certain people will start to like take off or guys sending their girlfriends like leave now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like this is about something's about to happen right now. And mm -hmm. sure. And it'll be all the way over there. Yep. And then that thing will happen. Somebody will knock out a cop. Yep. A window will get busted. A Somebody will throw something. It's a flash. And boom, there it goes. So, yeah. Vin, so essentially you're talking about like a Reichstag moment. Like I know we've been referencing this a lot, mm -hmm. but you're talking about like an inciting incident. If that's the case, if we could just speculate real quick, not in nothing being written in stone. Father, do you think we've already had our Reichstag moment? Or are we still waiting for it? Perhaps. Yeah. Perhaps. But but I, I'll tell you, we've had Reichstag moments already. There's there's multiple Reichstag moments, if you understand what I'm well, saying. George Floyd was. George, I was just about to say George Floyd. Yeah, George Floyd. Which by he was, the way, he was the one for the left. He was the he one. He was for there the left. to start the the riot on the left. He was the one for the left, and and I would just say like, and again cycles, right? Michael Brown was one. You know what I mean? Like, even Donald people. Trump getting elected was one. It seemed to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you just begin to understand like how this is, how this is working. And again, like beyond me being my own like foolish self, I realized today, and this is kind of like, sorry, all you, all you people out there. Um, Cause I, I'm having this kind of moment right now. You were about to say Zoom land, weren't you? I was about, about to, to say Zoom land. I was about to say Zoom landers. Uh, but this 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 moment I'm having right now is what we is we were talking about this before or like whatever I don't know we'll see with the edit but like I I'm starting to really understand like why this matters like and and what and what needs to be said because um what is always at stake are human souls our souls that's what's that's what's always at stake and I'm realizing that this is the left like there was there was a flanking that happened in 20 and the and the the leftist the the the, the, the temptation from the left both in the political and the and the kind of noetic sense took captive the materialists in the church and they're they still they're still there, right? But it doesn't. But like, boom! They're and they they're they are ever increasingly descending deeper into that, right? That looks like on a personal level doubling down. People doubling down on, even though the data shows you something different, you're still doubling down. You're still wearing a mask three years later. You're still doing like you know what I'm saying? It's like oh no, like we need to do this and that, and like people who think that like. Uh, the traditional way of, of marriage it's all just you guys are just hate mongers right like that 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 calling of the herd that aspect has happened right and it's, it's sure. this there, there's another wave now which is going to be just as searing if not more so because it's going to be working with a long-standing momentum because no one sees this no one understands I hate saying that because it sounds so like crazy, but this idea that um, it's, there's a lot of people who are like Kelly. I want a monster now. There's a lot of, there's, you're, you're, you're muted. muted. So you're, Let me concretize what you're saying here. Okay. Another tweet, another tweet that I shared. If you're, I, I just want to warn if somebody's watching, if you're watching this and you, there's there's profanity in this tweet so i'm gonna read it but i'm gonna read it without the profanity if you're watching and you don't want the profanity i didn't i didn't like edit this so just like just turn it away and listen uh or if there's kids or whatever but same day there's gonna be a cuss or two yeah so what's interesting about this one right because it goes directly to what you said father about like the the left grabbing the materialists in the church because what I found most interesting, so so here's here's the tweet, and this is a blue check again. This is a a a mainstream conservative. I have to be honest. I was not certain I wanted Trump. This is from Carmine Sabla. I, I was not certain I wanted Trump back in 2024. I thought maybe let's get somebody less abrasive. F that. I want Trump to tear this mf'er to the ground. 
hashtag Trump 2024. This dude has has 85,000 followers. He's an Israel supporter, too. But look, but the first thing in his bio is uh, Christian uh, conservative. Yep. First thing in his yep. first thing in his bio. Isaiah 520. <laughs> right. What is that, Father? <laughs> well, look it up. Let's let's see. go. <laughs> Isaiah 520. This is gonna be rich. Woe to them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. That correctness. It's the correctness of the right. It's the correctness. It's the, it's the, it's the temptation from the right. He's just, he's embraced it fully. Just fully embraced it. And so the thing is, is like, wow. Yeah. So this is the next step. The next step is 20 was get all the materialists. Yeah. And what was standing against it was on the right was a spirituality. Mm -hmm. People who were on the right found this is when people on the right started to find the church Mm -hmm. again Mm -hmm. and the real church Mm -hmm. and started to find their spirituality. That's what was standing against it. And now. Mm -hmm. And so this is. Gotcha. Yeah. And this is why, like, for those people that are there, it's like. I'm trying, I'm like, I'm not trying. That's not about what I'm doing. But like, man, if some people can catch this and then like understand it, then, I mean, this is what I mean about on the local. It's like on the local, if we can, if you can keep your cousin, if you can keep your brother at your parish from going off the cliff, that's that's it. I'm, I'm mission accomplished, right? I'm understanding. If, if there's someone who listens to us and, they're, and they really get what we're saying here, and I, and I know it's happening because I talked to someone this week and I was like, okay, God, I think that's part of the fire because I talked with someone today, God bless you, brother, you know who you are. I talked to them this week and they were, it was so encouraging because they're like, they're new in the church, all this good stuff. And like, they're struggling because they want to love their brothers, but it's just like, the, the 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 little crackle of the energy is that they're trying to avoid it because their brothers can can descend and get quote unquote toxic really quick and it's like man we're not even christians anymore you know what i mean we're just it's like you you would just like kill people right now if you could you would just you would just like mow them down whatever so i'm sorry go ahead father i don't mean to interrupt so this is this is the thing is like what i'm trying to get is like I'm concerned with people being actual Christians. Being an ideologue is not being a Christian. And being an ideologue in itself is part of what's going to make the system of the beast. Mm. <laughs> like, well, I- ideology is religion without prayer, right? Religion ideology. without oh, prayer. Oh, man. Ideolog- ideology is religion without proper true prayer. Yeah. So yes. then... They're praying to something. I've talked to another brother from the church who actually was, um, again, he probably knows who he is, but he's talked about it's a real temptation for him to not take this view of, uh, and again, hey, I'm just an average guy here, okay? I like my chicken fried, my jeans tight fitting, I like my my music loud, okay? So I'm just so I'm just trying to break it down for all you other like average Joes out there that. Uh, he talked about that there's this he's struggling with this temptation that would it not be better if we were to just take all of the wokies and stick them on an island and just nuke it like he he was like he's like i have to stop myself from getting to this place where i i I feel like that that's a good idea so this is the temptation he doesn't feel like that's a good idea that's something being given to him by something Bingo. exactly that's he's, coming from bingo. that's coming from outside of him bingo. and and being given to him but and that's what's is, being given to all these people this bingo. is the temptation we're talking about now father i just want to make sure that it's clear bingo, that yeah getting bingo. swept to the left was the first temptation getting swept to the extreme right is the second temptation so again they got you coming and going bingo. like it seems like unless you're like walking that narrow royal path trademark that like you're just getting swept over to the left or over to the right into extremes. And it's the same entity at the controls. I think that's the thing that's missing from people, right? Is that, you know, Jesse Ah, Kelly will- Forgive me. 
I hate to do this to you. Go ahead, please. I want to put a, I want to put a different emphasis there because okay, you're right. Please go ahead, go ahead, please. It, I I feel I'm hoping this will actually sting someone's heart. It's not Christ at the controls. Because who were who were who were who I'm desperately trying to warn are the people who think that it's Christ. It's not Christ at the controls. That's not that's not who's that's not what's motivating you, which is the the sad paradox of Salima, Saliba, Sabanana, whatever his name was. The tweet. Yeah. The tweet. Yeah. Yeah, It's uh, what's Isaiah five twenty. Isaiah five twenty. Sabla, Carmine Sabla, pro Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I mean, right there, Jack. Christian conservative, pro Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's. He is. I mean, that that's. He's the archetype. Right. It's not Christ driving that ship. Christ ain't the captain of that ship, man. Just straight up telling you. you know I mean, so, so this is, so this is the thing, right? So what do we do, you know? And I think coming back around, it's like uh, thinking about moments and like, like it, it's what what is it that people have done that have it, it well, I'll tell you this much God, I, I was thinking about this today too man God help me uh, your litmus for your doing well is like you based I mean the litmus is, is you, <laughs> you lose your life or you come under attack that's the litmus you know what I mean and uh, I was thinking about this too because it's like the conditions for that too have to be kind of particular as well if you understand what i'm saying because the temptation is always you know to get you to disqualify yourself one way or the other right paul talks about i beat my body lest i be disqualified you know what i mean and it's this subjugation this like discipline this balance that we have to really maintain so we don't be so we're not disqualified that we will be you know, athletes and, and be able to, with God's help, be like champions because, you know, Sarah, you know, blessed Sarah from Rose, the trial, like <laughs> the believers of the last day are going to be, you know, uh, I can't remember the, the word he uses, but are going to be of a, of a particular stripe because the temptations of the, of the last days are going to be of a psychological nature. Like this is so, because precisely it's the opposite of what Saliba or whatever his name is saying. Like people can't tell anymore. And, and it's designed that way. They can't tell what is because antichrist. And that's the name of the game is not to come against Christ, but to obfuscate it. That's, that's the name of the game. And the way this is working, principalities and powers, right? It isn't. You're not wrestling against flesh and blood, right? And so when people hear that, they think that um, they take it too far to the extreme and think that there is no material involved. That's not what that means. When Paul says you're not, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, he's saying exclusively. It isn't that there isn't. It isn't just immaterial. No, it isn't just. It's it's both. It's both. It's it's Paul wasn't a Gnostic. This isn't Gnosticism. This isn't just, you know, the flesh is like the, it's worthless and the spirit's everything. It's both. We have to engage the material. We have to engage mm-hmm. the material. I'm glad that is- every once in a while I get to do this because this is like the third time that I've got to pull out this quote. It seems incredibly relevant. But Elder Thaddeus talks about if you have true discernment, when you debate with someone, you see you're not debating with a person, but rather the spirit of the fallen age. Mm-hmm. And like you actually create more tension by creating by like debating with them if you're like trying to prove them wrong, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like you're just like, you know, to the, I don't know, the gay communist, it's just like, there's only so much I can do because I don't want to sit there and just argue with them because again, I'm trying to get the discernment to understand like this is not them necessarily. They're just interfacing with something much bigger than them yeah 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 yeah. and you're feeding them you're feeding them by 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 arguing in the same using the same you're in the arena with them basically yeah and so 
but you're not in the arena against them, but with them. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. It's kayfabe. It's it's professional wrestling at that yeah. point for the entertainment yeah. of yeah. of the enemy, yeah. basically. Yeah. So this gets let's so bringing it back to uh, this band, this like black metal band, right? So yeah. like, so what do you do, right? It, in regards of like engaging, and so there is this, it, and it's all about accuracy. It's all about striking the timing and, and the timing being accuracy in, in the, the, the right chord of understanding the material and the, and the immaterial and how they are lined up to bring this manifestation, right? So let's say for instance, beginning to understand, man, we're about to go somewhere, protest. That word in itself is now a dirty word for a lot of people. Why? Well, here was the game. They associate protest now with being and with Antifa, liberal, BLM. Are you, are, you, are you following me? Like that whole season of it has left such a bad taste in the mouth. It's neutered and disqualified a whole other section of people because they don't know what that really looks like. They've been given a caricature which they, which they understand they rightly reject, right? Well, what does that look like? Like, how do you, so if you, so now we're at this place where you understand, okay, okay, um, father, so I can get behind this idea that it isn't, it isn't, um, it isn't just the kind of like wokey person, right? but there's a, there's a spirit there involved. I can get that, right? And I can also get that, like, you know, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, an equally but different type of evil that can come from, you know, the right. I can get all that, right? Um, well, and I'm not even sure people can, because I almost want to give one more example. I think, I think people still aren't convinced. What's that example? People, uh, I gave it earlier today, but I, I was, there was a, there's a gentleman who was a, he was like an ambassador for like World Conference of Churches, he's like a Baptist um, ambassador, like in a large national scale. And he went to Germany in like, in like 1932 or something like that, before 34 or whatever. And he's basically saying how wonderful it was to be in a country that didn't celebrate salacious sex and pornography, didn't have foul gangster movies. Um, and that um, readily and gladly basically like burned um, Jewish uh, literature and, and communist literature, right? He's like, this is wonderful to be in this, in a country like this. And it was only just a few years later where Hitler totally just swung to their side, right? This is kind of like, I think people still aren't convinced, like, if I had the quote, I would read it, but so I, I, I could read that now and Mr. Jesse and a lot of people are like that sounds great to me, right? And I'm like, e oh, there's a there's a circle of people that I used to run with philosophically that have unfortunately, I think, within the last few months, have actually reached that point where I mean, they are explicitly they are explicitly celebrating that period of German history, yeah, just always with the caveat like. We should go back to that, but we should just make sure that we don't go the whole way there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we yeah, should yeah. definitely go back to, we should definitely model ourselves on what the Nazis were doing at the beginning. And it's like, huh? So they're on like step four of like seven steps to end up being like- Right, but let's just make sure that we, let's just make sure that we don't go and it's like, no, I don't think you understand. It's the roller coaster, like you said, right? It's like, yeah. let's just, let's get to the peak and let's not, let's just make sure that we don't go over and the woo. And it's like, no, I don't think you understand how a roller coaster works. Yeah. <laughs> you can't yeah. get off there. You can't, you can't get, get off at the top. There. You can't get off there. And so I just, it's tough because it just, it, it needs to be drilled down so often because that's where most of us find us. That's the greater temptation for everyone, I think right now, but it's just really important, like we, we really keep an eye on this because it happens so quickly. Well, I mean, I'm a white boy from Missouri. 
I definitely have felt its beckoning. Like I've definitely felt like the finger be like, come on, like, come on, like fall into this extreme. It's okay. Like, you know, it's like, you don't have to be like a fascist, you know, like maybe what we do need is like, because it's like father said that grinding down, I would have never entertained, never entertained authoritarianism, author, authoritarian. whatever, authoritarianism like five years ago. But now I'm kind of just like, I mean, I, I don't want it. Like, you know, St. Nikolai, please protect me. Like, you know, I don't want that. But like, it's like, I definitely feel that calling of just being like, you know, aren't you tired of like your faith? Like, aren't you tired of like your principles? Like just openly being derided and mocked for like the entertainment of everybody. All the, Aren't you tired of like TikTok videos? Like, of people kicking around Bibles in protests. The like, drag queen going down the aisle of the church yeah. uh, two weeks ago or whatever. Like, bro. Isn't this like sickening to you? And I'm like, yeah, it is. And if I did not know for sure that God was going to have the last word, I would have gone insane. And you can quote me. On, <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not me. <laughs> That's St. Paisius. But anyway, sorry, Father. No. So getting back to like you said, the protest like what does that what does that look like it doesn't look like the caricature and that other side of the dialectic that was given to everyone in 20 that's not it does everyone does anybody remember what happened in like 14 do you remember in 2014 in in, in ukraine does anybody remember yeah. maybe well, maybe a uh, lot of people don't clearly yeah that's right. You're talking maybe, about Maidan? Maybe, Cyprian, if you're quick enough, you can pull yeah. up that picture. Sure. There's this incredible picture of the two opposing sides. And in between them, there was like three monastics, basically, standing in between the kind of opposing. Uh, I'll, see if I can, I'll see if I can find it. So this again, is in, this is in Maidan, right? Yes, I believe it was. If I yeah. could vamp for just one second. Father, is it like just speculation? I'm not holding you to anything and no one should. But do you think it would be some kind of, um, oh, I, of course, I can't remember the term right now, the Soviet Orthodox Church. Um, uh, what was that? The Sergianism? Sergianism. Would it be some kind of Sergianist sect of Orthodoxy that would like embrace both sides or something? Do you think that could possibly be the thing that unites the two? I'm just speculating. I have no, no, no idea. No, 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 because it's not. It's not really even a. No, I don't think. I don't. No, Sergianism was a renovationism that was like seeking to really kind of like appeal. I'm. I'm more talking about a church that's compromised. I'm talking about like a compromised Orthodox like sect. You know what they, I mean? They already exist. That's what I'm saying. But do you think it could be one of those things that there you go? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I've got a couple of these. I've got a couple. I found a couple. Um, it's it's the it's it's like I, this is hard to see because it's not I can't make it much bigger. But yeah, this is probably you could see that there's it was and these monastics. Or... You could see you can't it's hard to see, but like the police are behind. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side is the other correct are the protesters people. yeah, yeah. The, the other people who's taking the picture from this side yeah 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 um and there's icon wow this is concept? such a powerful powerful and, photo and this is this is meta because honestly i don't have anything else but this right now and i think that's kind of where i've landed is like this is it right here mm -hmm. this this is it right here standing oh. in the breach standing i'm standing i'm so sorry father maybe i did just a few too many whippets before we started but are you saying that this is the ideal this is the correct response to this to this yes okay and, all and, right and this is this is what proper protest looks like and, and here's what i mean by that there is a material engagement which mm -hmm. is bringing forth the spiritual engagement they weren't just doing the form mm -hmm. like they did the form i guarantee they can fast had had probably uh liturgy that morning or whatever they they did the forms had been praying they were aware they had done all, like but it's brought them to this place and this could have been the day that they died father 
because people people were getting killed out there who were making bold statements. Like yeah. that was one of the things about my dog. Yeah, yeah, and I and this and this this is where it's gonna get wild because, um, you know, if you're reading the prologue every day, <laughs> mm-hmm. yep. what are you yep. really ready for? The mar- yeah, the martyrs. Say. You're reading about the martyrs. Yeah, you're reading about the martyrs, not the slaughterers. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. You're reading, and so. I think this is the thing because um, when when the flashpoint hits, um, if you haven't given your your soul over to the conditioning of the tradition, like you're not gonna be able to resist. You're caught up in it just like everyone else. That that's that's the urgency for me, right? Because when the, when a flashpoint hits, that's not the time for you to think what you're gonna do. If you don't know now what you're going to do, you better start figuring that out, right? Because this, it, it's, those, those, those fathers there, if they met their end at there or else, or, or soon after that, they met their end as, as Christians. Mm-hmm. Both sides of the fence, I, you know, just as a priest, I can't speak. I can't. <laughs> Good luck. I don't know. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and, and I think that that's part of the thing is like, um, those who have eyes to see, let them see. The witness that they're bearing, that's calling, that, that, that did call, and that calls people even now to the light of Christ. Both other sides of that doesn't. It just calls people to choosing a side of ideology one way or the other. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That line of shields is dead. It looks like it's, it's, it's a dead thing. It's yeah. not a, it's not, there's no life in it. That so, is the, but that these, is, these that three is the monastic state is life. That's yes. the spirit of the state. Yes. So this is an icon more or less of, of a proper response to what's happening. Like this is, so is then the proper response to your band analogy to stand outside the venue looking like this. That's the proper response. Mm-hmm. And the proper response is also father wasn't going to pull down the cross and start whacking people with it either. Mm-hmm. People could come by and spit, throw paint, do whatever he's not. Right. Cause in that moment, right. The spirit that they channel manifest is the Holy spirit, mm-hmm. the same spirit that, you know, allowed Christ to be as a blameless hand before she is dumb. That's, we have our archetype, we have our litmus, we have, we have it, it's, it's our Lord. And that, that's the tragedy of all this. Like, as great as, you know, that battle scene in uh, Gangs of New York is, you know, that's not it. It's not the priest with the sword being like, come meet the true Lord. Like, it's great, we can joke about it, but like, that, that wasn't, that wasn't it. And and so I know that's hard for people to hear, but it's like, I read the prologue every day. I, that's where I'm putting, that's where I'm staking my hope and the, and the, and to be frank, my judgment, because that's how I, that's how I'm teaching my spiritual children and my biological, that's how I teach my children, spiritual and biological. That's, that's all I can do is point to that. I, I can't point to anything else. I can't point to, you know, uh, the cross of Jim Baker or whoever else. Like, I can't do it. That's not, that's not. Well, that Jim Baker's it. clearly chosen a side. That's it, a different it's, spirit. It's like, um, you can't fight fire with fire, to put it really you simply. Fire with fire. Well, the interesting part also about if we are to call this, it, it's almost, it's almost difficult to call it protest because it's not reacting. It's, it's, reminding it's reminding of of who of who the king actually is bingo of who the power actually because the other two are reacting they're reacting to each other and this is not a reaction to them and that is the job of the church because christ is already victorious and the and here's the thing the powers know it the powers know it here here's the big tragedy right um, Saliba and, and 
Jesse, whoever that guy was, all the people, right? The, 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 the don't try to, I mean, I, I'm not trying to pick them up, but saying all those cats, what they don't understand is you're, you're not on the side that you think you are. You're just, you're not. Mm-hmm. You, you, you have, you have a more sterile, clean corner of hell. It's still hell. It's still hell. You know what I mean? Um, the power, those powers, they know that Christ, there was a time when they didn't. There was a time when they didn't. And if they had known who the king of glory was, they wouldn't have crucified him, as, as the scripture says. They didn't know. But that time has come. And, th- and this is another reason why we can, we can say with some certainty that it's later than you think, as Father Sarah from Rose would say. Because the axial age, just to give you guys a little you guys don't talk about the actual age right no yeah. i do not um the, the age of axes of acts of the apostles no oh uh, okay it's pre-christian the pre-christian age right the pre, there's, oh. this, there's there's this time wow. in there's this time in world history called the actual age and it's like the advent of like it's like lao tzu buddhism like this 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 moment in which like simultaneously around the world this this level of kind of like enlightenment began to like happen it's it's at the dawn of israel and like it, but it's it's this kind of they call it the actual age when it's this kind of like step forward began to happen in regards of like civilization right that period of time is is a concrete period of time which we can say that like uh, this is probably too much of a rabbit trail, like the pre-incarnate logos and Christ like is moving, right? But there still is not, there, there's still the, the spirit of the age, of that age, there, there's, it's still moving. And when, what we need to really understand is when Christ comes, we have forgotten that. Like Orthodox Christian, you who are going to liturgy this Sunday, you have forgotten I'm not, I'm not saying this is an accusation. You've forgotten how it, it is the paradigm shift that Christ became incarnate. It is. The whole world is different now. And I don't mean the world like the continents. I mean, I mean reality, the totality of reality, which includes the invisible forces. Okay. They know who the Christ is. That's why certain things elicit certain responses. Because they know. So what is our job? Our job is to remind them. In every liturgy, we're reminded first. And, and we participate in, in, his, in his life through his body and his blood. But then from there, we're supposed to go back out into the world and remind all the powers who the king of glory is. And that's where, that's where we are disqualifying ourselves because we're not doing that. We're not doing that. And that's not that the Lord is the Lord is like over and over and over again, trying to remind us through all the means of the church. No, no, no. Go out and like, you're, you're, you're my servant. So you're supposed to, you're, you're Israel. You're supposed to be calling to account the world around you. Is, is anybody with me? Like, like is no, it, no, no. Yeah. It's in, it's in this photo. This is like, what it's in this photo this is what we're supposed to be doing and there's lots of people and again who will say like what is that that's you know that was that there's lots of people on the right who'll say like that's no good right Mm -hmm. they won't understand and and well and who would say that's no good except the demon who who would say that's no good except the demon (laughs) christ wouldn't say that's no good no no. So, so this calling to account that that's, that's exactly what they're doing is this calling it this reminding. No, 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 no. You, he has subjugated you. And if you mow me down now, you know, the little Obi-Wan moment, I'll become, you know, more powerful than you can ever imagine. Right. Like, like, because I have enough, my allegiance and my faith in my King isn't just some kind of poetic LARPing. I know, and I, I, I trust that I believe in the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. This is how much I believe. This, I believe so much that I'm, I, and this is how I undo you. 
This is how I undo the system, because that's what he did. That's how he undid the system, right? And I mean the system in its totality. He's like Calabac from the Inhumans. He just knows exactly where the weakness is and just, he all he has to do is just poke it. And then it's just the like it all crumbles apart. It's the joint. It's the, where the joint the armor is. Did you hear that, Father, that story of St. John of San Francisco? There was some service. And then at the same time, there was like some Halloween celebration and a whole bunch of like his parishioners went to the Halloween celebration instead of going to the service. Yeah, because it was supposed, it's the, it's the, um, uh, the feast of St. John of Kronstadt. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you, you're familiar. So then, uh, for, exactly. so he just shows up at this Halloween celebration after the service is over and just walks around and just looks at everyone. Doesn't say anything, doesn't do anything. And everybody's just, you know, just like, like mortified. Like because I would you know be. why, because you know why we talked about this earlier in, in the episode today. The tactic of, of the powers is coercion and, and, and the grinding down. What Christ does, he did it through St. John right there. By his presence and the reminding, he now leaves it to their free will. The Lord always says you're free and choose, always. And it's in that choice of freedom and love that conviction comes. And that's greater than any condemnation, right? Yeah. Because, I mean, every, every martyr, every story, every martyr begins with a grinding down. It begins with them torturing for years, weeks, days, months, whatever. And, and this grinding down and just submit, just submit. Wow, I, I don't know if I ever really thought of it like that before. I mean, you tend to focus so much on the death itself that like the actual grinding down, the attempt, mm -hmm. and sometimes success of people's like, you know, not sticking to it. Um of being ground down where there was nothing left. And so they had no choice. Um, well, but they, that's the, that's the thing that they had no choice, but there's clearly, there's always a choice to the of end. Course, clearly yeah. that's, that's the, the, well, the that's the trick, no right? That's the trick of the demons is to be like, you have no choice, right? You yeah. have no choice. It's like the same. And that's, that's death. antichrist. Sure. <laughs> that's, <Sorry>. antichrist. <laughs> that's antichrist right there. It's like the same thing they say for suicide. It's like just right, pain it. right. That's right. That's right. I couldn't. I had. I, there was no other. Nothing else I could do. There was no. There was no other choice. There was no other choice. And it's like no. There is choice. No, there is. Yeah, there is. But that's the and and. Wow, it's so interesting that like, the conviction is the reminder of your free choice of your free will. Mm -hmm. That's what you're being reminded of. That's why you're convicted. Mm -hmm. Right? Is that it's like. And that's what those three fathers standing, just the three of them. Mm -hmm. There's thousands of people in that square. We can't see it, see it all. But I mean, in, in that Maidan square, there were thousands of people there. And those three fathers standing there is a reminder to every single one of them, like, you have a choice right now. Like, what you're about to do, you have a choice. It's incredible. It's incredible. It's incredible. It's incredible. And it's the acquiescing in that choice. That's what gives the fallen one's rights. And that's how they get the individual. And as with each individual, it's one step closer towards that critical mass to where now a nation has given over rights. Mm -hmm. Yes, because for every one of those police that don't put down that shield at that moment, yeah. then they've got them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's they, they are a part of they are the principality being moved by, by that power. They are the state. <laughs> and mm. the state is a spirit. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. They are the state. And, what's, and, and what, happens if, what happens if the choice is not presented? How does that change the, how does that change the, the power I mean, I guess this is what I'm interested in, right? Because it's like before Christ came that someone couldn't really be convicted. And like, isn't the state of someone's soul different if they've never been exposed to the gospel, right? Like I, that's not a case now, but if some, but it before well, hundreds of years ago. Here's the thing. The master gives the parable of the wicked servant, the one who did not know his master's will, who received, you know, 
Um, the one who knew his master's will but didn't do it receives many stripes. But then there's the one who did not know his master's will but should have. It's in Luke. It's in Luke. And he should have. And this one receives stripes as well. And I don't know about you, but I'm not trying to receive any stripes. So this understanding of um, ignorance is not ignorance is not something that you that you should long for. And I think some people have this misunderstanding about that. You know what I mean? That there's a there's a willful ignorance that. Are they, are they mistaken? Definitely anyone who's a Christian is going to be held accountable for. Is they, are they maybe mistaking that for simplicity? It's possible. I, I, think, it, I think it's possible. Um, I also think that there's just a willfulness that, that happens because, you know, we, we want comfort. We want, we want all the stuff. Right. And and even in the wielding of power, why do you wield power? Well, you wield power because you, you want to be um, to some degree comfortable. Comfortable doesn't just mean fluffy pillow, it means being able to not deal with anything that you find distasteful or disliking, or whatever. It's like I I I am getting exactly what I want. You know, I'm God basically. <laughs> like the search for power is, is essentially the desire to be in the place of God, you know, and it's, um, it's a temptation for all of us. It's the temptation in the garden, you know, you call the shots. Did God really say, you know, this is, this is just chopped up in a different way and packaged to us. And I think this is what we have um, begun to see with people being ground down and being like, I'm sick of the, I'm sick of the disgusting stuff that I've seen. Let's at any cost now, you know, and this is the degeneracy. The degeneracy, the degeneracy is, is, is grinding them degeneracy. down. And 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 welcome everyone. This is this is Lord Vader. This is Lord Vader. And everyone loves Vader. <laughs> everyone loves Vader. And I think if you really start breaking it down, why you know what I mean? Like you're talking about the people are becoming Vader, or Vader is the person that's grinding you down. No, the people Vader's why the principality, it? right? Why He's what did, rises. How did Anakin why did Anakin become Vader? I mean, was he ground down? Is this what or he was a problem? Yeah, he he was disgusted he was by the degeneracy of the Jedi. Yep. That and he was they promised. that they had been kind of corrupted. And he was promised that um, what he wanted would come true. What he well, wanted, but it, but but, it, but what it was was that he was told that there were secrets that could get that could do something that he believed to be virtuous, mm -hmm. right? To save the woman that he yeah. loved, he was told that there were secrets, yeah. and that the Jedi had become so corrupt that they were going to withhold those secrets from him. That they're that they're that they had degenerated to the point where they wouldn't even do anything virtuous and they had just become a bureaucracy. So and they were gonna allow the woman that he loved to die. To die. So, yes. you, so Amadala becomes a symbol of you fill in the blank, man. Um, your nation, your race, your your state, like your sure. class, whatever that is you want to preserve. And but here's the thing: we all have, we look, we all have wives, you all, I got more kids than anybody out there. I get that, but like what does Christ call us to? Do you believe or not? And that's what happened in 2020. Is it the body and blood or is it not? It's that simple. It's yeah. that simple. Okay. So, so now it's okay. You pass that test. Great. Are you, to, are you to be disqualified again? Do you really believe in the resurrection or not? It's, so this is where it's getting real. This is where it's getting real because I'm telling you, like, I think about this a lot when I read modern when I read about, and I'm not trying to compare us to that because it's that's part of the other problem is when I read about like the commun the 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 communist confessors like especially in Romania, like what like what were the conversations they were having before everything like turned? You know what I mean? I think about this a lot, and and God help us, we're not going to have it that easy. 
because they're not going <laughs> to, it's, it's. Well, the level of sophistication is so much higher now. Yeah. Because the... Th- there, there isn't going to be the, the shock and awe of the bloodshed and the, and, and the, yeah, that's why Romania was especially crazy because it was on such a psychological level. They sought to truly dehumanize the people as opposed to like what happened in like the Soviet, you know, Soviet Union proper and all that stuff, right? Like that's close, that's the thing. And we've begun to already see it, you know, the lockdowns and the way the lockdowns on a, on a real, just broader social level began to really facilitate a change in which we as a as a nation left or right began to interface with each other interface interface with reality socialization time the way we eat all those things that process kicks that that process kicks something into gear and and people don't realize what it's done like so so many things which are wrong are now commonplace like there's people still doing liturgies online Mm -hmm. like you know what i mean there's so many things that have just like you know that's why i said not we're not doing that you know i mean like did it for like a week it just like stop it because i saw really quickly oh this is going to be a thing now right it's it's these what seem to be incremental but looking back it's like they were actually weren't that incremental they were like inch 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 like boom let's take a couple feet you know what i mean and, and that is where we're really starting to see now that like the changes within all of us, this is why repentance is the key. We, we need to really see you're wasting your time putting your, pointing your finger at the Wokies. You, you mm-hmm. need to really start repenting because when you begin the repentance process within you, that's the step towards discernment and discernment is what we need discernment to really see like when when every when the flash and the bang happens it's like no and you can hear the the lord's call it's like okay right it's time yeah i think i think father you said a while ago you're talking about saint joseph the betrothed Mm -hmm. he's talking about when he was called to egypt when it was he was called it wasn't like an angel knocked on his door and said hey okay so here's what's going on and he handed him a map and like drew a line you're going to want to go from here all the way to egypt it was this the gentle notions of like his heart of like the gentle notions of like this is what you should be doing you know what i mean so a lot of times like i i'm not really one i'm i'm not perceptive enough on this level to really get the grand there's a really good line by a band i've talked about a million times me without you where it says i don't know truth but i know falsehood when i see it and like that is so much of like what's had to happen because when I, it was a couple of weeks ago where I was kind of like at this point of like, I don't really know what's going to happen. I don't really know what that logic, what like the end of this is. And then somebody brought up the Reichstag and s- said like, uh, you know, th- th- this is basically how things were in Germany. There was a lot of like degeneracy, like de- degeneracy, a lot of like social mores were being like kind of torn down and, and like, and people are getting tired of it and for some reason that was that moment of being like that's what it is like that that's and what they, it, and, and again, they said it was the communists in the same way that we're seeing like for for someone in this country in the year 2022 a republican who's a nationally syndicated radio talk show host right with a mainstream audience to be talking about we got to defeat the communists I'm like the com- where are the where are the communists? Mm-hmm. Where on earth do you not know what a communist is? Like what are we even talking about here? Like what are we do- what are we doing? What's being said? We- like I I want to sh- I-, I just want to share something because it's the counterpoint, right? And it it draws on this the idea of the communist. I want to share one minute, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm going to show a series of people. All right? They're just going to make some yes or no statements, okay? None of these people are communists. These are super, these are, these are liberal, like liberal capitalist people in a liberal capitalist system. And I just want to show this. I just want to show this. But the reason that, the reason that it, it hit me is because, Father, as you were talking about like the change that's happened, 
And for us to just accept that like this change is here and to be sort of prepared for the next thing, because a lot of people even on the right are caught up in the last thing, mm -hmm. right? And I, I just, I, here, I just want to, I just want to play this. Hold on. I'm going to stop the share. I'm going to do a new share. I'm going to do share sound, optimize for video. Okay. This is the Congress seat for the New York District 10 Congress seat, 10th Congressional District for, uh, to go to Congress in DC. One minute, it's one minute. So I'm gonna ask you yes or no questions. Please just answer yes or no. Ms. New, do you believe the federal government should reinstate any federal mask mandates, for example, on airplanes? Yes. Do you support ongoing mask mandates on public transportation like subways and buses? Yes. Should the COVID vaccine be required for public school children? Yes. Mr. Jones, same questions. I, it's gonna to be tough for me to remember all three. So. Do you believe the federal government should reinstate any federal mask mandates, for example, on airplanes? If, if public health officials determine that that's appropriate, then yes. Do you support ongoing mask mandates on public transportation? Yes. And should the COVID vaccine be required for school children? Absolutely. Ms. Simon? Yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> Ms. Rivera? Yes, to, to all of the above. Ms. Holtzman? Ditto. <laughs> Mr. Goldman? I'm not a public health expert. I would follow the public health experts, but I do believe that every, uh, every child in, in school should be vaccinated. We have to follow the science. Yes, 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 yes. It's not even a question. Mm -hmm. They acquiesce not to the science. They acquiesce to the spirit. But that's the thing. That's the spirit. And I've been thinking about this a lot lately is because it's like, it's not. It has to be a religion. It's a religion. Because it has to be. Because the, it. We've, we've touched on this so much. But like, I screenshot for whatever reason whatever statistics i find in 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 whatever we're past like statistics and i can show someone on my phone it doesn't matter anymore but it's like, like do you think you could show anything to any of those people that would change their mind i know a guy who i love he's he's a great guy he i've mentioned him before but he he's the uh, a guy at my work and I, i've shown him according to the cdc 1200 people in jackson county missouri have died from COVID 1,200 in two years. That's 600 people a year. That's two people a day, more or less, one and a half people a day, whatever. And he still goes like, yeah, no, I'm not surprised by that. And then, you know, he totally does this like, yeah, I mean, it, it's mm -hmm. totally overblown, blah, blah, blah. And then the, the minor little COVID outbreak happens at my work because it's a residential facility mm -hmm. and people have scratchy throats and a fever for a mm -hmm. day and that's mm -hmm. it. But they're still like, we should bring back the masks. We should bring back the masks, even though it's gotten to the point now where it's kind of a joke, where it's kind of a joke to some people. Anyway, I'm done. I, I don't want to, I don't want to get ranted because yeah. But but the the what's going to happen now is that the the right the right side of this the response when this comes back which clearly it's coming back right the response is going to be now now we've reached this fever pitch on the right so now the response is going to be oh we'll kill all those people mm -hmm. oh see oh they all said yes find them at their house and shoot them mm -hmm. and people will be like yeah. Yeah. 10,000 likes on, on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We will then burn their houses down. Yep. I'll give you a mask. Let's, let's duct tape them up and duct tape their mouths and throw them in the back of a trunk and, 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 and roll it off a cliff. Yep. Right. And people are going to be like, yeah. yeah. Or you can dox them. Like, or you can dox all that. Them. Right. Yeah. Oh. All that. That's going to be the response. Now it's no longer, thing. this is wrong or anything like that. It's now like kill those people. And, and that's fine. But if you're truly a Christian, it's not. It's no. not exactly. I mean, and that and that to me, that's that's the biggest thing. Is like, yeah, okay, cool. I mean, that's what you I mean, want to do. But like, I you are the same folks that would demand Barabbas. Like you are the yeah, same. That's folks. exactly it. That's yep. exactly it. The Christians because, would demand that, that, because that Barabbas. They, this because this is this is my biggest thing. Is like, if you really. It's almost, it's really easy actually now. Oh, excuse me, it's not easy. It's very simple now. It just kind of came to me, you know? That's the litmus. Mm -hmm. How do you know if you're following him? Well, you're going to get hit on both sides. Because mm -hmm. he was hit on both sides. 
If you're caught mm. in the crowd, he was never in the crowd. Ah. The crowd was never for him. There you go. The crowd was never for him. So if you want to know where you're at, there you go. There's your litmus. The royalist of paths. And it's, it also has a whole new meaning to turning the other cheek. So it's like, here it comes, the degeneracy from the left. Boom. Oh, here it comes from the right. You being called a, a, an enabler and acquiescing yeah. because you refuse to go, go uh, burn a cross on their front yard. Yep. Yep. That's it. That's it. All right, Jen. So, yeah. No, no, Father, do you have a, do you have a final word? No. May God help us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of, yeah. Well, and I said that to someone today, kind of being a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a smart aleck. And I said that they were like, we don't, he said something to the effect of like, you, you know, the last thing we need is a person standing up telling us exactly how the church should be. And I was like, we have that person. His name is Christ. His name is Jesus Christ. He is the head of our church. And he's, oh, well, you know what I mean? And I was like, I just want to throw that out there. I'm just saying he is a person and he's somewhere and he's telling us what to do. So, and he is actually, yeah. I mean, that literally, whether, whether someone's listening or not, that's the question. Yeah. So before we talk about a possible saint, I'm just going to throw this out there. You guys read the Hippocratic Oath? The do no harm. I've never read it. No, not it never read actually. First, first do no harm. Should, should we read it? Should we read it? Yeah, uh, it we, we can. I, mean, I can pull it up. Yeah. There is sure. a couple interesting spots. I don't think I really need to even point out because they are very obvious. Okay, let's do it. Uh, do you want the modern version or the ancient nope. version? I, mean, I, I know an Orthodox doctor who she had to leave the um, medical industry because she was like, "I this is I'm acquiescing to <laughs> this is it's a it's very." Free very first line of okay. the ancient hippocratic oath I will at least find, I, i've got it i've got okay. it here i've got it it's coming up should be hopefully and you know the thing is is everyone just thinks you're kooky if you take the gospel seriously <laughs> <laughs> okay the hippocratic oath the original version uh oh seriously never mind i can't even say this yeah right i yeah. can't even say it very first line let me uh I'll, I'll i'll pull it up and i guess the people watching can can look but i mean I, i'm not going to say it out loud basically you've got to swear you you've got to swear by a series of gods a whole right, bunch of see, gods let me see the part that i was cyprian if you could oh right there moreover i will give no sort of medicine to any pregnant woman with a view to destroy the child whoa really yes so what happens when you have a lot That's of time to look up stuff on your phone because you're holding a newborn baby? I'm just saying, wow. and then there's this whole thing about what medical communities say this one versus an updated one. It's interesting. The best diet, according to my judgment and means, I will take care that they su suffer no hurt or damage. Uh, no sort of medicine to any pregnant woman with a view to destroy the child. Wow. Yeah, right. I will comport myself and use my knowledge in a godly manner. Yeah, that's interesting. Wow. But what I'm... What I'm curious about... Because this is a creed. This is, a, this is an oath you have to take. Yep. And pretty clearly, yep. right away... Now, of course, it's 460 B.C., was one mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Hippocrates it's, was uh, is that is that it 460 BC I wouldn't put oldest, money on oldest it. and most widely known I could probably look it up it'll probably tell us here um yeah for well 460 he was born so yeah four probably in the 400 range somewhere four four fifteen something like that probably yeah so oh, it's actually no well these are the partial fragments okay yeah 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 yeah. okay got it 
that's yeah. just the oldest written that they have is like from the year 200 or something so then i'm curious to see what who has taken what oath because i mean i'm just saying mm. right off the bat apollo like yep. he's mentioned like right and i yep. don't remember the other ones because apollo yeah Apollo's apollo is the main one then there's the surgeon whoever is the surgeon god is mentioned there's a uh, let's see so wouldn't it kind of make sense that this would be an excellent entry point for like some of the more nefarious like uh, principalities like when I mean, I mean i'm just speculating here i don't know i don't really know anything and you know if someone comes along and says no you're wrong but okay cool why yeah i'm totally wrong but it just seems like that swearing that oath and then i, I mean what's the opposite of an exorcism because like that's we have the Nicene Creed. An indwelling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A, uh, a summoning. A yeah. summoning. But that's kind of what I'm saying. And then, you know, and I'm not totally familiar. Father, what's the deal with the, the medical symbol with the two snakes wrapped around the with cross? The caduceus. The caduceus. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, is like we're talking about things. This is a whole nother episode. Like we're talking about things that are pre-Christ, right? Yes. Um. Not that that just gives you, you know, some kind of like, oh, well, never mind. It's pre-Christ. It's good. That's not what I'm saying. But it, there's a there's a way that you approach these things in the sense of them being pre-Christ versus like post, you know. Um, and I think that there's a place in which, you know, that kind of like nuance, I don't want to say sophistication, but I'll say like this, a discernment is needed again right mm -hmm. because look um not necessarily connected but i guess it's applicable you know if you think about um the three wise men mm. bring gifts to the lord right the frankincense the gold the myrrh mm. you, you can use that almost as, a, as an analogy for being able to take gifts from different time periods you know it's not ecumenism it isn't, it isn't, it's not about being syncretic, like, oh, all these things are equally from God, but it's like, you take the value from something, and you offer it to the Lord in that sense, right, because there's, mm -hmm. there's wisdom to be found everywhere, because the Lord owns everything, the, the cattle on Thousand Hills, you know what I mean, like, well, they're the first people searching for Christ, aren't they, they're, like, the, they're first... the first people who ever search for, search for Christ, and this brings us back, interesting enough, I was talking about the axial age, right, I mean, this yeah. is, yeah I, that right. came to my brain like, yeah right this this is what's going on and so like this this is helpful this what keeps the, see this what we're talking about like the fall wells and the and the crazy west boroughs and all that stuff they don't they can't hear this what we're talking about you know what i mean this is the inability to hear what we're talking about in this moment right now that's what that's what keep that's what locks them so so firmly into um like an unflinching allegiance to that that temptation from the right you know what i mean sure. because there it's it sounds weird paradoxically but it's a it's a different approach of the antichrist there's the antichrist for the left and there's the antichrist for the right still the same antichrist it's the same antichrist and, and like look you know, uh, we have this, the Pantocrator icon, right? The, like our Lord, you know, his right hand, the blessing and his left hand carrying the law, right? You need both that the full Christ. Well, the Antichrist has two sides too. They're just, they're, they're just they're flipped they're because flipped. on the left, he blesses anything that you do. Yep. Big oh, and, on, and on the yeah. right, he holds you to the the he makes you like enforce the law yeah all right yeah I, I can wow That's That's wow yeah. the last thing i'll say about that whole thing because i just got to say it is that i i don't know but i would put dollars to donuts i'm not sure that like saint luke the surgeon he ain't saying say that hippocratic oath. yeah he didn't say it not I the don't. ancient one That's for, yeah. sure. <laughs> That's for sure so all right Okay, do you guys have wow. a particular saint or story or something? I, I don't I didn't really bring anything. I read the prologue before I got in. Um, 
before I started recording, but I'm not sure that um, any of those particularly in a in a huge like that I feel confident way saying anything. St. Luke the Surgeon is pretty awesome. He's great. Yeah, there's this life of his. The first icon is attributed to him. Really? Icon, the mother of God, is attributed to St. Luke. No, St. Luke the Surgeon. Oh, forgive me. Well, there's two St. Luke the Surgeon. I did not know that. Was the author of the Gospels, was he also a surgeon? Mm -hmm. I did not know that. Yeah, the physician. So St. Luke of Crimea. Crimea is who I was talking about. Yep, he's great. But there's also St. Luke the Surgeon, the the physician. Isn't that... Isn't that kind of the thing too? Because yeah, this is good. Um, in the way that we look, great movie of him, by the way, out there. Anyone should, if you can get a chance to watch it, watch it. What is it? Saint Luca Crimea. It's It's a a movie. It's oh, it's it's incredible. Okay, there you go. I need something to watch tomorrow because I got an afternoon of data entry. Um, uh, so isn't that like also? That's something. It's not the same thing without, not really of the Ukraine picture that we looked at with the with the monks, with the fathers out there. But this need for the communist for him to perform surgery on, I can't remember, it was someone very, very important. And I'm so sorry, forgive me, I don't remember who it was, but they were so to the point where they're like, it needs to be this guy. But he's like, mm. sure, but I gotta have icons up. Well, I'm doing it. And they're like, no, you're not going to do that. He's like, okay, well, I'm not going to do it then. Yeah. And then they're like, okay, you can have icons up. And he's sitting there praying, you know, and then like he takes off the medical scrubs and goes and like does, you know, like priestly duties as well. So I, that's an icon for something. I'm not sure what it is, but like this the icon need, for everything we were talking about just now. I, I knew it was, but I'm not sure how I was able to connect it. So maybe you guys could, because you got better because at building he's, connect- Because he's in the, because he's, He's making the he's he's bringing the world, the 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 spirit and the and the worldly like they're yeah. they're together. They're not they're not separate. Like they're they're go. both integrated with each other, right? There's there this integration. Go. There you go. Yeah, and he, he was who I was fervently praying to before my uh, little daughter's lip surgery. You know, it's full anesthesia, so you know I was just like you know Saint Luke got to be you and father gave me a little vial of uh, or a little bottle full of saint matrona oil and oh, nice. it was like th- full here and i think by the time i, I have yet to get back from just sitting in my eye constant but it's like probably down to here now because we're just like everything just like slathering it on like everything we're just like before she went to surgery first time she breastfed before my wife went into surgery like everything we're just like putting it on everything put it on the incision wound in my wife afterwards because it was just like you know it's you know it's it's bringing it's this recognition that like this physical substance can bring about like spiritual healing in, in physical healing through god you know it's it's yeah it's all that good stuff so all right boys and father spiritual father um we are also our radio the spotify thing is back up i don't know if mm-hmm. cyprian announced this but he was worked it out with spotify uh it was just some error i'm not sure what it was but we are back on spotify i think that someone mentioned oh okay Hmm. i'm very sorry father i have to do this really quick really quick somebody asked this in the comments and i and i I was wondering if you could give like a five to ten minute answer what is blaspheme against the holy spirit (laughs) yeah i'm very sorry i know you thought you were done you you were getting ready to like head back to this to the showers. And I was like, we gotta get dude like two more reps. Sorry. Um, the attributing of the work of God to anything but God, whether uh, it be the the devil, the the a person like it, it's the denial of the work of of God. Um, and so okay, mm-hmm, go ahead. Because it's the Holy Spirit specifically that's what you're saying like because it's the work of god so the 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 issue with that is remember with the work of the holy spirit is the convicting of sin and and the the uh proclamation that christ is the lord right so it's interesting because the lord he says or you know anything said against the son of man will be forgiven but anything 
the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, like, because if you deny the spirit of truth, that's, that's speaking to you directly, right? And, and I mean, it's, it's God coming to you in the innermost parts intimately. And you're saying like, no, like, this is what, mm-hmm. what it, uh, when they said that Christ worked his miracles to the power of Beelzebub, right? Mm-hmm. there you go mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. and so you know i had a situation recently where someone was just you know it's hard for people to kind of understand this context because unless you've been to St. Mary's, it, it's, it, it's not going to make sense but uh, i can just say you know our services are very penitential in nature i think that's fair to say you know and um there was a you know this person was kind of like just hadn't encountered that encountered that and i had to say this person you know well and you know i can get i can get kind of like hyperbolic in my statements whatever i guess but i was like i told this person i said um well you know it's not the devil (laughs) the devil's not the one making you cry here you know the devil's not the one pricking your heart when you're when you're here right Mm. Um, because for me to even say like well i don't know maybe you know, maybe it was like, I'm not even going to go there. It's like, that's, this is the Lord's house. Anything that happens here, it's of him. You know what I'm saying? And in in that, in that regard, not even going to play with that, you know? Um, and that's really important because the work of God oftentimes is what brings you to tears. Not, you know, that's why the, the other side of it, the, you know, being drunk in the Holy Spirit, Holy laughter, all that stuff yeah this life is given to us to, for repentance <laughs> so if someone said if something good happened to something or someone cried deep tears or something like that and then you said glory to god that's like a reaffirming of the holy spirit's work yeah yeah you know and i, and I would just say this we gotta be really careful not to ascribe you know i'm, I'm gonna take isaiah back from from saliba <laughs> or whatever his name is um send me bobby um oh. Yeah, like, <laughs> uh, we should not call what is good and evil because we. This is why we need to be very careful not to attribute something that you don't like to the evil one. Be really careful. Really careful. This thing that's happening in your life that you think is like, oh, blah blah blah. It's like that actually might be the work of God in your life. It's just that you're twisted and you, unless it's like unless it's hitting the pleasure buttons for you, you, you know, you, you think it's, you don't, you can't think it's God. You know what I mean? Gotta be careful. Cause that very thing, that very quote unquote trial that you're under, that very well might be the, the direct hand of God in your life. It probably is in fact. So don't be quick. The, to say that. Don't this, be quick to say it's the devil. I think if, while it may take father about an hour and a half to really get into it, I think it takes me the full two hours because I can keep going. I'm not going to, I'm just saying that like, this is something I encounter very frequently is this explanation of like a penance to people I counsel. Like I, I, I keep it light. I try to not get too far into it, but it's just like, you have to understand like why a penance is a good thing. You have to like, understand like why, it's like when people say, I, I counsel people who are like maybe getting ready to face like a little bit of time in prison, even though they're getting recovered, like they're in recovery. You know, they're 30 to 60 days sober. And like, I'm really nervous about this court case coming up because I have these charges. I could land me back in jail for a year, two years. I'm really nervous. It's going to happen. And I'm scared of it. I'm like, well, you probably should be. You know, if I had a thousand copies of crime and punishment, I'd hand them out to every single person that like that I counsel because it's like like what's happening now we could talk all day about the injustice of like yeah it's probably not right that you're going to prison for two years over weed from 2014 and you just happen like run away from the case whatever sure that's maybe not like ethical quote unquote but like at the same time like this is being used as a correction for your soul like this is something that you will take it that way if If you you will accept that if you take it that way, and like, that's what I try to emphasize is like, if you bear your punishment, if you bear your cross, you know, as it were, if you're able to like, really be humbled, 
by what's happening to you, if, if, if nothing else, the sheer lack, lack of control that you have over the next few years of your, like few years of your life, you can use all of your will, all of your ego that you want to try and convince this judge or jury or whoever to not send you to prison. Let's see how far that goes. Like, let's see how far that goes. Yeah, maybe it might work, but probably not if this is what's going to happen. And the one thing I tell, I just had a dude get sent away for a 120. And he, I, one, the entire time I was talking to him, I never once said, like, it'll be all right. Like, don't worry about it. You know, you're in recovery now. God's got you. It's like, no, bro. No, you might. You might go front down for this 120. You know, and 120 is a best case scenario. That's four months. You can do four months in prison and allow that to be humbled. Now, that being said, I've never been to prison. So it's a very bold for me to stand back and be like, well, you hey, probably just- do four months in jail, probably. I would hope they wouldn't send them to prison for just four months. You know, Cyprian, that's actually a really good point. Yeah, yeah. they're probably going straight to oh, county for four yeah. months. So. Which is actually worse. I've to heard. To be honest. <laughs> like, depending on what county you're in, that could be a lot worse situation I've heard for you. Fed and local are the worst. State is okay. I've, I've heard that from different people. Depends but... on the state. California is pretty bad, bro. Uh, California state penitentiaries are not somewhere you want to go. Hey, it's a I'm pretty from bad Missouri. situation. I'm yeah, from Missouri. Missouri might so. be okay. No, I mean, I'm just going to say, I think everything. <laughs> I just think everything from California is bad, but you know. fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I said that the other day and I'll close with this. Uh, I was talking about with a couple of brothers from the church and they, they were all sitting around having a couple of beers. I was drinking my, my carbonated tea and, um, one of the dudes asked me, he was like, have you ever been to California? I was like, nope. And the dude, I said it in a way that he was like, yep, that's a like a Midwestern Missouri. I don't want it. I don't need it. it I just keep it over on the there on the left coast and we're good. I don't want anything to do with it. And I'm like, yeah, I guess I feel that way, but not really. My people are from California and I, I have no desire. I dread the idea of going back. So I have to remember yeah. California has some of the most holy relics in all of America. Mm. California has some of the holiest. So I cannot say let the state break off and float. Father the- Seraphim Rose, California. St. John of San Francisco. St. John of San Francisco. Yeah. 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 So I, I can't bad mouth it too much. Plus, I like all of the music. A, a, a huge portion of the music I like. The three best Beastie Boys albums were recorded out in California. So I'll just say that. So anyway, gents, thanks for so much. And uh, thank you for having a good night. It's good to be back. Morning.